Welcome back and Happy New Year to you all. As I suspected, our Brussels kleptocrats have used the holiday period in true spin doctor style to busy themselves with their plans to build a federal tyranny. As ever, we have been watching, and here are tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website. The EU officially announces intent to create a truly federal Europe. Countdown to the invasion of Britain, 362 days to go. Leaving the EU would cost jobs and trade. Cobblers, says a new report. Conservative George Osborne talks tough on Federalists' ever closer union. And our EU masters look to invent loophole to keep Britain in the EU. Yes, folks, the brainiacs in Brussels are putting the hammer down as they move toward the end game of a single European superstate. I'm Rick Timmis, and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, headlining from our legislation section. This report, discovered by our research team just days before Christmas, shows the true intent of the Brussels masterclass. The report states, The intergovernmental method has reached its limits and is not well suited for democratic and efficient decision-making in the 21st century. And, goes on to state, A leap should be made to a truly federal Europe. So, there you have it. Just as we predicted only weeks ago after Barroso's State of the Union address, the intention is and has always been the creation of a single federal state and the complete removal of national governance. The leaked Foreign and Commonwealth Office document 1048, produced in 1971, proves that our politicians knew at the time and have always known the true intent of Brussels. You can download a copy of the document from our 1972 et al. section of the website. In 362 days' time, the legislative sluice gates will open, granting rights to 29 million Bulgarians and Romanians free access to take up residence in the UK. This article from our UK Impact section reads like a modern-day Oliver Twist and will leave you with your jaw on the floor. One father states in an interview, I went to Luton because that is where there are cheap flights back to Bulgaria. I rent a small flat for my family and half of the £550 a month rent is paid by housing benefit. And of course, we get state benefits for the two children. Now, If you think Britain is overcrowded now, watch what happens in 2014. This is going to be big, big news over the next year, and as always, we'll be watching this epilogue as it unfolds. Oh, the truth will out. What's happening in the news with 2013? Has the Mayan prediction for end times scared our political elite into truth-saying and repentance? <laughs> this article discovers that the notion of a loss of trade and jobs if Britain leaves the EU is a load of old cobblers. Lord Green has confirmed it is not the case that as a result of trade negotiations the countries outside of the EU will have to adopt all the legislation and regulations that apply to EU member states. Links to the full story are below. Britain's role in the European Union should be reduced to participation in a single market or free trade zone, George Osborne has said. This article sees Mr Osborne talking tough on Europe. Such rhetoric has given our Babylonian benevolent dictators in Brussels the heebie-jeebies as they're afraid a British EU exit might bulldoze their brave new world. This story is going to explode over the next couple of months. Links are below. Today in our video library, Arthur R. Thompson, CEO of the John Birch Society, talks about the integration of Europe into one federal state and how the banks are being integrated to catalyse the process. Well, that's all for me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, www.theunit.com. 
You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. Finally, of course, you can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. <laughs>